Okay, next we're going to make up a rubber motor for this airplane. So we're going to take this O-ring material, and we're going to cut off two quote-unquote O-rings. Little guys like that. I don't know if you can even see these right here. And then, we're going to take a piece of rubber. We're going to start by cutting ourselves a piece that is um, 14 inches long. We're going to double it up. Oh, I did that out of camera frame. Let me try that again. So this is... inches and we're going to double it up like that. And then it's going to take you a little effort that this can be threaded uh, through here. You may need like a paper clip or something like that to force the rubber through this uh, o-ring. That certainly is not going to do it. And that certainly is not going to do it. Okay, let me try the other trick, which is to cut this on a very sharp diagonal. Now we can fit it through there. Slip that o ring on. And now we'll slip the other one. And you're going to have to experiment around with the, the right length and size and all that of, of rubber. The bottom line is we're going to tie it off here. And we're going to tie it one more time. And we're going to hit that first knot, the one that's farther out. A little dab of CA. We're going to trim it off. And I'll be right back. Okay, so we're, uh, my lovely assistant here is holding one end of my rubber motor for me. Um, there's a screaming baby in the background. It'll be okay for a few minutes. I'm cranking about 200 turns on this rubber motor. And we're going to load this onto the prop. And so this is our maiden flight, and we're just doing this in the living room. Kind of a funky way to do this. This should just give us a light cruise. That actually gives us a little bit of plunk and plunk into the window or wall. turns and it's um, not even descending that much. So longer rubber motor or you can twist the blades to a higher pitch. Um, hopefully the next installment uh, will be a trimming video where we'll actually go into some greater detail on that. So um, as it is, uh, we're, we're at the stage where you're ready to start flight trimming. So this is the end of the, the build phase of this airplane. So questions, comments below or contact us through the website. Um, and uh, stay tuned for the, uh, the flying demo, etc. video on this airplane. See y'all. Okay, now that this rubber motor is tied, has O-rings on it, all that, you need to lubricate it. And you can't use that nice Vaseline that we had earlier because that deteriorates the rubber. This is a product called Dow Corning Number no. 33. It's a silicon oil. Uh, it's my preferred rubber lubricant. Uh, but you can use other um, uh, other materials as well. Uh, Son of a Gun, uh, believe it or not, is uh, a, a very good material for uh, lubricating indoor rubber motors. It's a lot thinner than this, so you do have to uh, make sure the motor stays wet. Um, but there are a variety of, of, of products like that. Silicon-based products work great. Uh, castor oil-based um, products. Um, as well, although I think silicon is really preferable nowadays. 
So, there you have it. So with that, we're going to proceed to load that rubber motor onto this airplane and we'll do a few test glides with it. It doesn't have too much slack right now, so we can do that.